So guys, in this video, we are going to dive straight into how to manage your game properly when it's a very windy day. So here I'm playing the back nine at Stockbrook Manor in Essex, and it is incredibly, incredibly windy. It's gusting to like 35 to 40 miles an hour, so very windy. So even though this says the first, like I said, I'm on the back nine. So it's the 10th, par five, dead straight down there, a little uphill, and it is downwind and left to right. So what I'm doing, I'm aiming left hand side of the fairway and with my normal fade as you can see it's bananaing there onto the right hand side of the fairway so first things first when the wind is really really strong you can't fight it you just have to play with the wind so next shot here because it's a little bit downwind i've only got a mid iron into the green but look what happens here this is something you have to do when it's windy you see with all those leaves blowing across because a big gust just came through there you have to step back. You can't be hitting your shot when that's happening because if you get a massive gust, as soon as that ball is in the air, whether it's downwind, or crosswind, or of course into the wind, it's just gonna knock the ball out of its normal ball flight. So to step back, get your composure, step back in, go through your routine again. And the green is pretty much dead and straight in front of me where this camera is. So wind has died down a bit and I'm playing this shot lower as well. Even though it is slightly downwind, I still want to play it lower because I can control my ball and we can all control our ball better when it stays a little bit lower down when it's windy. Of course, so that shot was absolutely ridiculously good. It's left me with what must be two foot here for eagle. So to start on an eagle, boom, there we go. So guys, here's my second hole. Now, this is the hardest hole on the golf course by far, because it is quite unfair of a golf hole, to be perfectly honest. It's a dog leg to the left, and there is the tiniest little gap you've got to hit your drive through. Now, straight into that wind now, it's into, and a little bit going left to right as well. Absolutely the worst wind possible for this hole. So what I'm doing, I'm aiming down the left, and I'm hitting driver, quite a controlled driver down there. Tee the ball down really low to keep it low and I try way too hard to hit it as far left as I can for the wind. And what you actually won't see by this shot tracer, it hit the trees probably about 200 yards away and pinged back out into the fairway. So now I have way too far into the green because this is a 450 odd yard par four. So now I've got like 240 left because it all went nowhere. So I'm just laying up, hitting a five iron. So five iron just dead straight in front of me over those trees, which is the second portion of the hole. So still trying to hit a kind of controlled one over there, still high enough to get over the trees, but I want to control my ball flight. So that's just having the ball a little bit more back, getting myself a little bit more on top of it, covering it with my chest. So here we go. Now, essentially, I'm just playing this exactly like a par five. And if you've ever hit a bad tee shot, like a lot of us do, and you can't get to the green in regulation, play it just like a par five, just change your mindset. And we can see I've only got a little pitch and wedge. Now this is important as well. I've only got 105 yards on this. My normal pitch and wedge full is 135. So I'm taking this and gripping down and essentially chipping the ball down there. Kept the ball flight super low. And actually it came up short, which I didn't expect it to do at all. Tells you how windy it is. So this part here, to save my par, uphill left to right, put a really good roll on it and it breaks straight across the hole, as you can see with my reaction with that little squat. So, a little tapping for par, or bogey, sorry. So back to one under. So my third hole here. Now this hole, again, is really tough. This stretch of three holes, which is technically 11, 12, 13, hardest on the golf course, out of bounds here right, hazard on the left, really narrow gap. I'm just in the five iron. It's just like a little dog leg to right, hitting it up to the corner. And I try to really stinger the life out of this shot just to keep it down because that wind would have taken it out of bounds if not. So really, really tough tee shot. I'm happy I got it in the middle of the fairway. So what we've got here, now I'm just hitting a little nine iron, but again, I've only got probably 120. Nine iron's more around 140, 145 for me. So gripping down, again, trying to play it lower, smoother swing, just essentially chipping the ball round, which is the best way to play when it's really, really windy. All these abbreviated follow-throughs, just because I'm really trying to control that flight. Now, it was a good shot, but again, this just wasn't quite the distance, which is always the challenge when it's very, very windy, is getting your distance control. So your short game has to be really quite good when you're playing in windy weather. So just as well, I made the eagle on the first. So here we go. Now, long putt here. Now with this, it's pretty straight. I just wanted to get the pace of it. Now look at this, this is an absolute joke. Now that ball looked in. 
It's just lipped it. See my reaction there, hands on my head. I felt disgusted with myself, to be honest. So you see my slow walk up to the ball because I can't quite believe what happened, to be honest. Get another birdie after, you know, eagle in the first and then bogey in the second. That would have been a bit much, but there we go. So next hole, my fourth hole here. Now this is a par three. Very tough par three as well. Out of bounds right, hazard left. Not that you really should be thinking that on a par three but it is really quite tight. Now it's a really funky, funky green. It really slopes off to the left. It's two tiers, but the upper tier is on the right and there's a little drop off past the hole as well. It's just, it's just not a good one. So we can see here, wind wise, it was a little bit downwind and right to left. So I was aiming on the right hand side and like fully, purely plain for the wind, as you can see here. Started it quite close to the outbounds and the wind just brought it back with just a high seven iron. And that looked way closer from there and I thought as I was really what we say bigging myself up thinking that was such a good shot and we can see it's actually miles away so this part here broke all over the place this did it's been a long time clearing all those leaves off the green and we can see an absolutely gun it past so now I'm looking at quite a tough return part I've got about five to six foot and you can see this putting stroke was horrendous I'll just completely pull it lip it again two lip outs in two holes, it's great. So now that eagle I made, I've completely gotten rid of it. Now I'm back to level par, but more of what I should be doing in this wind. So par five now for the fifth hole. Now this is a fairly straightforward par five. It's uphill and just a little bit of dog leg to the right, straight into the wind, and the wind is also right to left. So all I'm doing here, another one, teeing down. Now with my normal fade shot, I am just going and aiming pretty much in the middle and the wind will hold up a little bit. So just nice smooth tee down driver and we can see did exactly what I wanted to. So it's pretty much in the middle of the fairway, quick tee pickup. And now this hole normally, if it's not ridiculously windy, you can get really, really far up this hole. And I've still got around 230, 220 into this green. So I've got my hybrid out. Now I chose this over my three wood because into the wind I would probably hit my three wood for this but my three wood, I do find it quite hard to keep it down just because the shaft isn't quite right for me. But we can see just getting that hybrid up there, trying to trap it. Now, when you do try to trap it, so you're hitting the ball really early on the low point, so you're gonna be really hitting a little bit more into out and it just overdrew on me a little bit because of that. But par five is still absolutely fine. So just got a pretty straightforward pitch shot here, but I would normally play this with a lob wedge, but because it's really windy, I want to keep the ball down. I did the exact same type of shot that I would do with a lob wedge. Did it with a gap wedge, just to keep it down via the loft of the club. So, okay. Fairly realistic chance at birdie here. A little bit of a left to right end, you can see. Windy, now when it's windy with your putting, you really got to have a little bit wider of a stance as well. You can see I hit a good putt, just didn't aim enough left. So, really wanted to get that one back after the silly drop shot on the last, but that will do, that will do. So. Par three. Now, this par three. It's gonna be a bit of a funny thing again on it, but okay, so wind right to left and down. So this is normally around a seven iron this hole, and I'm hitting an eight iron. So I'm just hitting an eight iron, letting the wind take it. As you can see, I'm pretty much just letting the wind do everything to the shot because it's so strong, you can't really play against it. Hit a pretty good shot there, pin high, little bit to the right. Thought the wind would take it more. Now, downhill putt here. Downhill putt, downwind as well, so very, very slippery indeed. So hit this putt. Now again, look at this. That looks dead in the middle. Look at my reaction. <laughs> Just absolutely not happy with that at all. Now, the camera cuts out right here. I promise you guys, that putt did go in, even though you didn't see it. It did go in. So this camera was absolutely playing with me here, and it actually cuts out after the seventh. There's only seven holes on this video. Unfortunately, I'll describe what happens afterwards though. So driver, straight downwind. Now it's around 350 this hole, so I was hoping I could get quite close to it. So I teed it higher to let it fly. And I absolutely smacked the daylights out of it. A really good drive. You can aim down the left because it's just another hole there. It's a very wide area of the golf course. Hit a pretty good drive. Two hours around 40 yards away. So pretty good drive there. I'm quite happy with that exactly where I wanted to be. So now with this pitch shot, 
straight downwind. So when it's downwind with a pitcher, you've always got to, of course, give yourself a little bit more run, a little bit more leeway for run. You can see there, so close, didn't put a tracer on it. But again, hit a pretty good shot. And now, let's have a little look here. Pretty straight putt. And we're going to see, in a second, I'm going to put a terrible stroke on it. Miss it. So I'll make that return one for par. Terrible putting day today. And couldn't film the last two holes. It was just cutting out all the time. Very frustrating, but I just parred the par three after this and parred the par five. Pretty boring, but level par would do for this.